The name of this book is Sequoia. It's by Tony Johnson. Paintings are by Wendell Minor. Mornings he stands with a thin shawl of sun upon his shoulders. He watches the grove below slowly fill with light. He watches the clearing quietly fill with deer. He watches the sky burn blue at the rim. He holds out his ancient arms and gathers owls to him. Spring times, clothed in his old man's robes, every shade of green, he listens to the thaw, to waters flow again. He listens to beetles scratch, to woodpeckers tap, to firs converse in the wind. You may not know what converse means, but I bet you know what a conversation is. Converse means to talk about something. Oh, we're going to have to turn the book sideways. I bet the author has a purpose in that. He listens to the sound of one bee hum. As he listens, he stretches his ancient arms and gathers clouds to him. Summers from his post above lower trees, he sniffs the breeze. Sometimes he smells the very heat shimmering everywhere. Sometimes he smells the gray of a sudden storm in the air. Then he swirls into a dripping cape of rain and waits for choirs of frogs to sing. Sometimes he smells fire. He spreads his ancient arms and gathers flames to him. Autumns, among shifting drifts of leaves, he feels a chill entering his bones. He feels the pull of buried, den buried dens lost among the hills. He feels the long years slip away, a wolf down a wooded path. He feels in his ringed heart, the earth grows still, the birds depart, leaving him alone. He opens his ancient brittle arms and gathers one last crow. Winters, he waits for something in the forest's great hushed halls. While he waits, he counts all the moonrises he's known, all the centuries, all the dawns, until snow falls. <coughs> he touches snow. Snow touches him. Then bearded and cloaked well and wild with white, he is Merlin. He throws wide his ancient arms with joy and gathers snow to him. Evenings, he gazes at sunsets dwindling, stares into the glow, tells a tale or two to cedars clustered there. He tells of golden grizzlies, gone. He tells of olden forests, gone. 
He tells of golden men. Then he reaches high his ancient arms and gathers stars to him.